Okay, since my abuser is able to enlist the government in his abuse, um, when he's upset, things like this happens, and a lot of un more unusual things that people wouldn't believe. So out of the blue, I got something saying that I was behind in child support payments. Since out of the criminal activity, I don't have access to my daughter. She, I was a custodial parent. They will not investigate it, and they enforce that I don't have access to my daughter. Family FLP is denying me the supervised visits that the court ordered out of corruption. So, um, but anyway, so this is saying I'm $500 behind from nowhere. I tried to report to the attorney general that I had missing and partial payments. They wouldn't accept it and threaten the um, police because they could not explain the missing and partial payments, what was going on, because I think my abuser's behind it. So the other day I talked to a representative. I don't know who I'm talking to. She said someone was going to call me back regarding the interest and, and it changed to, from the $500 to now it's 10000 This is just out the blue. I've called and did an address change. I have not received any notification saying that I was behind. All of a sudden now, just out the blue, they're saying that I'm behind $10,000. Well, there's an arrearage. The dad uh, was behind like $40,000 something dollars. So they said that they were going to take my payments out of the arrearage. And I go over there and I give my daughter money However, routinely when, you know, they'll let me see her just a few minutes, maybe like two or three minutes to give her money and gifts. Someone's calling. Hello? I get these prank calls. So I give my, I pay, uh, the child support comes out to a rearage and then I give my daughter uh, money and gifts. And they'll allow, allow me to give that, do that you know, give her, give some money, but as for seeing her and, you know, spending However, time with her, I'm not allowed that. Very important to us. Please remain on the line for the next Appreciate your call. So these problems are created and I can't get them resolved. I mean, just for years, a revolving door of not being able to get anything resolved because the problem's created intentionally out of corruption. So they don't want it to get resolved. Can I get on the child support? Uh, May I have your name, please? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Can I have your employee ID number? We don't have employee ID number. So, oh. ma'am, it's just uh, child support is my name. Okay. How do you spell that? M-A-T-A-M-O-R-O-S. Okay. My name is Kiana Clark. Thank you, ma'am. And do you have a case number on your social? So I can look it up. Okay. Um, I'm showing that I owe money. I'm not quite sure how to handle it because it just came out the blue because I've been getting child support payments and a representative said someone was going to call me back and they never did. How long does it take for a supervisor to call back or a case manager? Yeah, it depends on how many cases are ahead of yours as to how quick you'll get a call back. So let me check them. I'll take your refills, okay? Okay. What's going on? Okay, ma'am, ma'am, before you place me on hold. Okay, so I've been on hold all this time. Your number, your social security number, and the detail message so that I can review it and give you a call back. Thank you so much. Record your message at the tone. Hello, this is Kiana Clark. I don't know what happened. I was on the phone with a representative that was kind of rude for me to get transferred to a voicemail, but um, you can contact me back. So I did leave a message. So, you know, it's just for the government to be able to take your food stamps almost a thousand dollars worth of food stamps um take your child away um for multiple give you multiple foster risks scheme where you can't go to court um sabotage your mill and just consistently get away with these crimes you know um, harass you, um, slander you, deny services even at restaurants, hotel stays you know, whatever's going on with my phone. And I don't know what has my family so scared and they're not being honest about what's going on. But like I said, something had my sister very terrified and they will not discuss, period, my situation, period. So my family will not be a support system with what I'm going through at all. They will not discuss it or talk about it. Okay, so uh, essentially the attorney general just created a problem on May 20th. That was that uh, e uh, email that I was sent, and they're unwilling to help me get out, of, uh, find out what's going on and resolve the issue.
and it just came from nowhere. 